what would you recommend we say to our children when they ask us what the bad is in same-sex attraction and could they be involved in, in gay or same-sex relationships, be good people and get to heaven one day? You have to read 1 Corinthians 6 where Paul says that some of you were homosexuals, but then he goes on to say some of you are covetous. That's all of us, right? He, he talks about all of these immoral behaviors and he says these people are not going to inherit the kingdom of God but then he says but that is what some of you were but you were washed you were sanctified being heterosexual doesn't get you to heaven what gets you to heaven is accepting the free gift of salvation now if you truly do accept the free gift of salvation you truly do love Jesus you're not going to want to continue to sin so you think that taking the secular stance of like making that black and white argument to your kids does more damage if they're thinking in that way or, or if their friends are thinking in that way and they're trying to does to what them. what does more damage like that they'll feel um like outcasted and like they don't have a place with god and so they turn away from him entirely because the point is to minister to your friends or your kids right to bring them closer to him so by saying it's not right do you feel like that deters them more? Or no, because you, you would be giving them a false gospel. Mm -hmm. If you were to say, you can bring all your sins with you and keep doing them and still be saved. Mm -hmm. According to the Bible, you can't do that. Yeah. Not to say that you won't continue to sin, but if you're advocating sin, then Paul says, you're out. Mm -hmm. And that's what these people want to do. They want to advocate it. Look, as I said earlier, as Soul put it, if you want to help people, you tell them the truth. You don't tell them what they want to hear. You got to tell them the truth. So from a very young age, you're going to have to be very direct with them and point out if they disagree, they're, they're inventing their own moral standard. You know, we, are we going to follow Jesus or are we going to just follow ourselves? That's the basic question.